So for this video, I'm going to do just the first two questions on the advanced solving sheets. Then I'll do a separate video that deals with the word problems. Um, so if we look at problem number one, it says to solve, round to the nearest thousandth, three decimal places if necessary. All right. And we've got some wacky looking function here. Um, wacky looking equation. But one of the things, we gave you a hint, right? And we said, let u equal e to the x, okay? And so I see an e to the x right here. And while it's difficult to see, there is an e to the x right here. In fact, it's e to the x squared. So if you think about your exponent rules, if you had e to the x raised to the second power, you would just multiply those two exponents together, creating the 2x. So what we really have if we use u substitution is u squared minus 5u plus 6 equals 0. And I'm pretty sure we're decent at uh, solving quadratics. So let's go ahead and solve this thing. Now let me not screw it up. Um, all right, so let's see. In order to get a positive six and a negative five, I need negative three and a negative two. Okay, so this is gonna give me u is equal to three, u is equal to two. But remember, now we wanna like back substitute and put back in the original problem that we had, which was the e to the x. So we've really got e to the x is equal to three, and e to the x is equal to 2. Now, one of the things that we talked about at the very beginning of logarithms was being able to convert from these exponential problems to logarithmic notation. So our base e is going to require us to use the natural log, and it's going to be the natural log of 3 is equal to x, and the natural log, whoops, natural log, ln, of 2 is equal to x. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in a calculator. I'm not gonna split screen on Desmos, um, but yeah, just use your calculator. You've got the natural log button. Or if you need to use Desmos, go ahead and use it. All right, so we're gonna get x is equal to 1.098, so 86 would turn into nine. And the natural log of two is 0.693 rounded. You absolutely could check your answers. In fact, I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna do that really quickly on my calculator as I am kind of chit-chatting here and sniffling apparently. My apologies about that. All right, so I know the 0 0.673 works. Let's go ahead and grab the other answer and make sure that that one works. Uh, and it does. All right, so those two are good answers. Let's go ahead and see what problem number two looks like. All right, uh, let's talk about U substitution again. We're gonna do the same thing, okay? In this case, Let's go ahead and say u is equal to e to the x. So the obvious one is right here, e to the x, 9 times e to the x. The less obvious, but still there, is this e to the x right here. Same idea that we had in the last problem. If we had 2 times e to the x squared, we would be able to multiply these two powers together, creating the 2x here, and that coefficient of 2 would just stay 2. So what this really is, is 2u squared minus 9u plus 4 is equal to 0. Let's see if we can factor that mess. All right, so 2u, u, let's go with... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I feel like my brain is telling me this is going to work. So let's go negative 4 here and a minus 1 there, and let me make sure that works. So 2u times u is u 2u squared. 2u times negative 4 is negative 8u. Negative 1u, yep, that makes that one. And negative, yep, I'm good. All right. So this gives me u is equal to 1 half and u is equal to 4. But I'm going to back substitute what we originally started the problem with, which is really e to the x. 
So e to the x is equal to a half, and e to the x is equal to 4, which turns into x is equal to the natural log of 1 half, and x is equal to the natural log of 4. Okay, so into my calculator those go. And I'm going to actually do some quick checks as I do these problems really quickly. Make sure that I am not doing anything goofy or getting some goofy answers when I do this. Do, 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 plus 4. All right, so natural log of 1 half is going to be negative 0.69... Do, 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 three. And the natural log of four is another decimal value. These are all going to be basically decimals here. But I want to do a quick check to make sure that my answer is correct. And let's see what we get. We do get the right answer. So the natural log of four is 1.386. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this video off for right now. If you have any questions or concerns about these, drop me a message or send me a Canvas message, whatever you need to do. And then the second video I'll pop up will be all about um, using these exponential problems in, um, I know the word I'm looking for, <laughs> um, interest problems in population. That's what we're looking for. All right.